Well, we're almost at the end, which is kind of sad. I only have six more modules. The most recent module, we talked about making changes in the school food system, the way that it's evolved so far and how it's hopefully evolving in a healthier way. My clients are doing really well. I'm actually having my second to last meeting with one of them today. We did a three month program, so today we're gonna go to Whole Foods and do a grocery store tour. I think that IAN provides a framework for really easy cooking. It sort of breaks it down to the most simple way that you can prepare pear, fruits, vegetables, and grains. From the beginning, one thing that stood out to me was the concept of crowding out foods. So instead of thinking of swapping out certain foods, you just add more of the good stuff in and hopefully there's less room for the not so good stuff. So I'm gonna show you one of my most popular recipes on my blog. It's chocolate hummus and it's a little bit unique and weird, but I think it tastes really good. So. What we start with are chickpeas, and then we use dates for sweetness instead of sugar. So in savory hummus, you would use tahini, so we use peanut butter for this. Then we have cocoa powder, and I like to use the raw agave, and then it's about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. The last thing we add is a little almond milk, and the best part about this recipe is that you just blend it all up. So when you're done blending, it's pretty much done, and you can just transfer it into a container. So there you have it, chocolate hummus. Mm -hmm. <laughs>